All right, y'all. So, um, do I want to do Home Goods first, or do I want to do Marshalls? Choosing Home Goods. <laughs> Hey girl, hey, welcome back to Beast Diddy TV. Here's another Vlogmas episode. If you could tell by the caption, today is going to be a home decor haul slash Christmas decoration haul. The reason why they're together is because initially this was supposed to be a strictly Christmas shopping haul. Like I was gonna take you guys shopping with me for Christmas items. However, it has turned into home decor. There was just a few, more than a few things that I felt I couldn't leave in the store. So we did both. <laughs> and I'm here to show you guys everything that I got. So a lot of the stuff, I got some stuff in Florida and some stuff in New York. Like my mother sat, like seen some stuff and was just picking it up as she goes. So I just came back from New York. So I brought all that stuff with me. So this stuff is a mixture of Ross, Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Amazon. Did I say Walmart? Target. It's a whole lot going on. Okay? It's a whole lot going on. Oh, and I got candles from two different places too. So we had that. Um, I think I'm going to save my candles for, no, let's just start with the candles, why don't we? So the very first candle company that I stopped at was Yankee Candle. So if you know me, you know, I'm a Bath and Body Girl, Bath and Body Works girl. Like, I only shop at Bath and Body Works, it's actually nuts, unless it's a black owned business. Like, it's one or the other. Sorry, this watch is going to blow mine, actually. So... Um, so yeah, I'm a Bath and Body Bath and Body Works girl. I don't really shop candles anywhere else unless it's like a black owned business or a small business. But as far as like major candle corporation, it's only given Bath and Body Works. So I decided to try Yankee Candle and I got two. I could have sworn I got three, but I don't see the third one. So maybe in my head I got three, whatever. I got two. So I got a, a big one and then a small one. So the big one, this is a 19.5 ounce. It's kind of huge actually. It comes with this nice gold top, which is kind of cute for me because my theme in the house, which at some point I'll give you guys a tour. And after you see all my stuff, you'll kind of, it'll make sense. It's like golden cream. Yeah, it's like golden cream right now. At some point I plan to put hints of black in it just to make it a little more masculine because my boyfriend and I do live together and I don't want it to just be a girly-ish home. Even though nudes and creams are very, you know, solid or whatever. But in any event, at some point black will be added. So back to this. So yeah, the gold top was cute and I felt like it was a cute. It'll go with my accents when I cover the candles. So that's cute. Um, it's a two wick in the scent sea salt and lavender. It smells very fresh and clean. That just smells really good. Okay. I see. I smell the sea salt. But I don't think I'm mad at it. Um, so I can't wait to see how these burn. Because Bath and Body Works candles burn pretty, pretty well for me. And because they're three wick. They burn. Like my whole living room smells good. My whole bedroom. Every room smells good. So this is only a two wick. But let's see how that goes. Uh, what does this say? Fragrance with pure natural extracts. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. Oh, lid designed to fit under candle. Oh, it's a candle stand. So it fits, like, to do this. That's cute, I guess. I mean, I have candle stands, but actually, all my candle stands are circular because all my candles from Bath and Body Works. So this is interesting. Okay. Go ahead, Yankee Candle, go. The second one I got from Yankee Candle is a little mini. She's so cute. Um, in the scent Dark Berries. She's 
she smells very potent. Like the berry is there. Mm. Smells really good though. One wig. So this is probably like a bathroom type of vibe. And again, the top is gold. Same thing. I kind of like that idea. That's kind of cute. I like my candles raised, but um, I'm not mad at this. Post it just fell off the wall. And the rubber from the bottom makes it so that it's not sliding on the surface that it's on. So that's great for cautious reasons. Um, so yeah, got these two from Yankee Candle. I will let me know if you guys shop at Yankee Candle. What are you guys' favorite scents from Yankee Candle? Because like I said, I've never shopped from there. So this would be this will be fun to see and see if I like it. Um, so let me know what scents y'all like. I'm a vanilla girl, so if y'all know any scents around vanilla that y'all think I should try. Let me know and I will try it. Okay, that's it for Yankee Candle. Moving on. The next candle brand is actually from a small business that I found on TikTok. Um, and the company is called Naked Candle Collection. So on Instagram, it's Naked Candle Collection. All simple words spelled out. Um, and she was so sweet. So the owner of this brand, it came with a little thank you card. Naked Candle Collection. Um, she's so sweet. She's so nice. She has a candle that I seen on her page that I was like in love with. So I messaged her like, girl, when is this dropping? Because I need a piece. Wait till y'all see the candle. Like, it's so great. It also comes with a candle care card. Um, in case you guys don't know, you should burn your candle until you have a full melting pool. Allow your candle to burn for three to four hours. That'll prevent tunneling and your candle will last longer. Never burn your candle for more than four hours and trim your wicks after each use. If you don't trim your wicks, I don't really know what you're doing. Oh, and just so you know, because someone on Instagram did ask me what is the reasoning for trimming your wick. It says trim your wick after each use to maximize the scent throw. So for the person that asked me that, that's why. Or that's one of the reasons why you should. If you don't trim your wick, I don't know what to tell you. Granted, I've been trimming my wick with scissors for a very long time. I actually got a little candle set. I'll show you that in a second. But um, trim your wicks, people. Trim your wicks. Okay. So this candle, she wrapped it very nicely. It came in a box and a bow. I don't have that for y'all because I already opened it. Um, I just tried to keep it as nice as possible to show you guys. So this is the candle. It's like a gold... Uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's a face, but it's all around, like literally all around. This candle, when I seen this on her page, I messaged her immediately like, when are you dropping this? Because I need it now. And she dropped it early for me. Like this girl, she was so sweet. She dropped it early for me and she gave me a cold. Like she was just so nice. Customer service, a freaking one. Um, But this, this i don't remember the scent that this comes in because to be very honest with you guys i did not buy it for the scent i bought it for the casing so it could go in my living room not sure where it's gonna go yet but it's feeling it was part of my decor so that's why i got it i did not get it for the scent at all i don't think you were able to choose it whatever it has a specific scent for this candle type um i wish i could tell you what that scent is but i don't know what it is right now it's holiday -y though. holiday -y. Very holiday-ish. I don't know if I'm ever going to burn the candle, to be very honest with you. I mean, I might burn it a little bit just so I can get a scent, but... Ugh, okay, anywho. The casing, jar, whatever you want to call it, amazing. That's why I ordered the candle. She was also nice enough to throw me a freebie. Um, she has a grapefruit peach vanilla. So this is what it looks like. This is how many ounces? 5.8 ounces. Um, that's the container black lid, which I like because like I said, I'm going for the new and black thing. So that'd be great. It's a one wick candle. Oh, she smells so. This is the perfect bathroom candle, like the perfect bubble bath candle. Oh my God. Now I want to take a bubble bath this is it like this smells good she had asked me like what are my favorite scents and notes just so she knew what i liked so when she threw whatever the freebie was going to be in there so i told her anything with vanilla grapefruit peach vanilla mm. 
girl you did that she did that i'm gonna tag i'm gonna try to put her name on the screen if i don't it'll definitely be down below i'm not sure if these candles let's check hold on let's check if the candles aren't still on sale because i kind of got these a little minute ago For, forgive me i did but um and I don't want you guys to get confused because if you follow me on Instagram, I bought candles from a brand called Naked Scents Co. This is not the same brand. This brand is Naked Candle Collection. Please be sure that you guys have that correct. Does she still sell this? And she sells, you guys should check out her website. She sells a lot of different things. She does resin art. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Um, she has the, what are those scented sticks? Like the oil is in... Like the oil sticks, I don't know what they're called, but she has those. Um, I don't see this candle on her site. Mm. This candle is everything. I'm gonna have to burn it right now. I'm looking, I'm looking, y'all. I'm looking. She has mad different scents, though, that you guys should try. She has soy candles. Oh. She has it. It's called the Muse Soy Candle. Muse, M-U-S-E, Soy Candle. Get your hand on this. You won't regret it. And then, if you're into home decor like me, it's it's giving. I'm not throwing this away. You feel me? So, um, go support my girl. Naked Candle Collection. Amazing. Top 10. Customer service. I actually had an issue with my mailing, and I think it was my fault um, where I didn't put my... Part of my address was iffy, and they ended up having to send it back to her. She sent it out another one immediately. And she, like, I was able to contact her, and she responded quickly. We love good customer service, okay? Especially from small black-owned businesses, because if you know, you know. Some of these businesses be tripping. But she handled me very well, and for that, I will always appreciate that, and I will always shop with her. Like, I'm good on customer service alone. Your products could be trash. If your customer service is up there, I'm going to support you just because. That's just how I am. Because people are rude. She was so sweet. So sweet. So, get your hands on that. Um, and again, I believe her name is Sade. Thank you so much, Sade, for my candle. I love it. Um, yeah, that's that. While we're still on the topic of candles, I'm just going to show you guys what I got real quick. Quick. if I remember where I got things from I'll say it but all the stores start to mingle and you know it starts to all come together so you can never remember but this I got a candle kit from Amazon um, and it comes with I'm trying to pick it up for you guys hold on it's a candle kit I'm gonna show you <laughs> it's not gonna work it comes with a snuffer a candle snuffer to like burn out your candles um because for whatever reason you shouldn't blow them out i don't have the answer for that again as i share with people on my instagram as i come across reasonings for certain things with candles like certain candle tips i'm gonna put y'all on i'm in the process of learning as well so when i find that out i'll let y'all know but candle snuffer i believe this is also a type of snuffer so you can just like lean your wick over and burn your candle out almost sure so it's literally just a little tool simple and then it comes with a wick trimmer so this is what I was talking about before so before I had this I would literally just use a scissor but um we're going for aesthetics this time around right with our nice new house you know you want to look cute so it goes with the aesthetic it trims your wigs perfectly fine i've had no issues with it yet um i've had it for a little minute mm, a few weeks and then it comes with a tray so like you see the wax on the tray which i like because the wax could get on your snuffer and then you're gonna put it on the table or wherever it's at that's just not cute so it has a little tray where you can rest everything on so you rest it like so, like so, and like so, and you get on the track. But um, yeah, so it was a three piece, or I guess a four piece set, candle set technically, because the fourth piece is the tray. Um, if you guys are interested in that, I will link it, or if you guys comment below that this is stuff that you're interested in, moving forward, I will make sure to let you guys know where I get it from. 
And I also got this E lighter from Amazon so that basically it uses a charge. Like I charge it like in the wall and then I never have to buy a lighter again. So that is actually it for the candle segment, I promise. Now on to the home stuff. Home stuff, home stuff, home stuff. What is first? Yeah, y'all. I got a charcuterie board. Um, this is my mom got me this, so I'm not gonna lie and say I bought it. My mother got it for me as a homecoming, not a homecoming, like a what's it called when you buy some stuff for people's home? Why am I running a blank? Okay, whatever it's called. She got me this, um, and I like that it's small. She had, actually she got me two. Maybe I'll get up and get the bigger one so I can show y'all. But when she got me the big one, I was just like, that's to host a party of like 50. <laughs> There's only two people that live here. So we got a smaller one. So freaking cute. Can't wait to make a charcuterie board. Um, so that's cute. I'm excited about that. Next thing. What's next? Oh, okay. So funny story. It's a photo album. It's a gold, like a champagne gold photo album. Nothing special at all. So I've been looking for them and I could not find them and she ran into them. So she got me three. Super excited again. It's honestly, I don't know if the, light, the way the lighting is set up, you guys might not be able to really get into it, but it's really like champagne gold. It literally just goes with the theme. That's it. Um, and I love it. So, Ma, thank you. So there's that. Next um is that all she got me i can't really tell because everything's scattered oh yeah that's it for now okay so we're moving on to the things that i purchased um we're gonna start with our pomp pompey pompey pompous <laughs> i don't know the poor word for pompous but i found pompous grass so the the gag with the pompous sis pompey pompey whatever they're really expensive on Amazon, you could get like three stems, so like three sticks of Pompeii, Pompeii, whatever, for like 45, close to $50 for three. Meaning, so for example, this is one set, but it's, it's three. Y'all, I got this for $20. I still think that's expensive for some damn whatever, but $50? No. So I went and I bought for 20 and I got three so I got two of this cream color and then one of this nude color I'm gonna interchange them but I got my pompous pomp pomp side um so now I need to research how to care for them and make them look whatever I know I've seen people use hairspray so that they're not like shedding all over the place and I know they have to go in the sun that's all I know though so we have to do some research but um let me put them right here but i'm so excited about them and i can't wait to put them in my house i'm so excited all right moving on oh i got these so i have for those people that are into or on tiktok i've actually been into this prior to tiktok back when i think the first time i seen someone really organize their pantry was chloe kardashian i don't know if you guys watch keep it up kardashian but she's like a OCD freak and her pantry chef kiss like it is the her fridge like everything is just stupid organized like it's disgusting but in any event a few years ago in my old apartment I bought these containers like people put their cereal their pasta keeps them fresh their oats sugar flour yada yada um so I bought this container at my old apartment but the top is white because in that apartment the kitchen was white and like wood so it went but my kitchen now is you know updated everything is stainless steel so the white containers on my countertop drive me insane like every time I look at it, I'm just like ew so I found stainless steel ones and so I got two in this size and then I got one in this size which this size is questionable um it's a little big I don't know where I'm gonna, this lighting is really low in mine. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna, what I'm gonna use for this one, but I need to get more of this 
Um, and then they have ones that are like half of this. That's where I kind of put my sugar and stuff in. And then the tiny ones. Like there's tiny ones that are like this small. So yeah, I don't know what's going to go in here. Okay. Stainless steel. If you guys want to see like a kitchen. Not a kitchen hall, but like, uh, I don't know. I have a lot of cute gadgets in my kitchen. And it's crazy. I actually bought two things for my kitchen maybe i'll do like a kitchen haul comment below if you guys want to see my kitchen or whatever um and i'll show y'all my kitchen oh i got these y'all so funny story about these i have a story about every object just know i don't shop aimlessly like everything i buy has a purpose and most likely has a story so i found these mugs that i've been looking for y'all i've been looking for these for forever right and there's there are a particular type of mug. I thought I found it on Amazon. I bought it. That cup is as small as this little candle. Again, I will show y'all, but I really don't feel like getting up right now. It is literally, if you know how small eight ounces is, then you know how small eight ounces is. That cup is like this. Granted, it's a cute little teacup, but it's not a mug. It's a teacup. <laughs> this is what I deal with. Benji. Relax, it's okay. Can I finish recording? Thanks, pumpkin. Okay, to the mugs. So yeah, the ones that I found on Amazon, teacup, not a mug. These bad boys are mugs. So this is the mug. It's a mug. I don't know if y'all can see. It has like a, like a bottom, like a, I don't know, like an indentation right here. It's a full, full size mug. If you know me, you know I love tea and I love a lot of it. So that little teacup business that I got, I was so furious. I was, and, and I think for two of them teacups, I paid like $30. For two of them small cups, I got four of these for $8.99. $8.99. The nerve. A steal. Like, I'm excited about this. But them little teacups for $30 for two. Anywho, she's cute. Moving on. Oh, y'all. Y'all. All right. So, an another story. My mother has these vases, vases, whatever. The trend on a lot of these things is things that my mother got and I wanted them and she would not give it to me. So, she has these two or three vases, right? I came home and I'm like, oh, those are gorgeous. Like, where did you get them from? And she's like, oh, I can't tell you. Like, it's one of my secret places. Whatever. So I'm like, okay, you don't got to tell me, but can can I have one? Like, she has enough, mind you, and she has nowhere to put them. So I'm like, let me have it because I have places to put them. She wasn't budging. And God don't like ugly. Because, y'all, I found it. And I got it for cheaper than what she got it for. So, look at she. I don't know if you guys can really see in depth, like, the shimmer that it has. It's like an ombre vibe. This vase is everything to me. And when I seen it, I was just like, ooh. So, I called my mother. I'm like, ma, guess what? And I showed her the vase. So, I actually got two. But this is one. Then I found this another one in a different size. For my table, which I think is gonna go on my island. Look at it. I don't know if y'all can see the oh in there. I had to make them take some money off because there's a little something right there, but I was not leaving this. So we got it. Um these are freaking beautiful. Wait, y'all wanna see once I put everything together, it's gonna be so freaking fab. Y'all are gonna be so jealous, I promise. Um but yeah, these, and they are worth, like, a lot of money. Like, when you, people sell them for, like, $80 or over $100. Child, I got these for, like, $30. 30 beans, okay? And y'all think I was going to leave that there? No, absolutely not. Oh, I got these cute little things. So I was in the store 
I was in the store and I found these chess pieces. So this is me thinking like, okay, this is where the house is gonna get more manly. You know, unisex, whatever. These, they're kind of big, but they're not life size. But they're big, like they can go on the floor. Um, so I found a queen, right? This is the queen, yes. I found a queen, I found a king, and I found a knight. Freaking cute. So um, I also found a pawn, but I didn't see the, re the need for a pawn because last time I checked, the pawns are the little, the 12, I believe, that are just in the front. Like, they guard these people, but they don't really have much importance in the game of chess. Last time I checked. So, I didn't get the pawn. So, I did get, I wanted to get the king and the queen, clearly. And then the knight, I don't really know what's happening with the knight. But I couldn't leave it there. So, we got the knight, too. But here's the gag. I think I want to spray paint them matte black. Think is what I want to do um this one is definitely gonna be matte black because silver doesn't really go so I'll probably practice on the night and if I like how it looks then I'll do these two but um yeah these pieces are a thing I don't know how I'm gonna do it like what I'm gonna do with them but it's a vibe yeah yeah y'all see the vibe y'all fucking see the vibe so yeah that's that and these were pretty cheap. I think they're like $10 a piece. Or one of them were $4. And I'm like, why isn't all of them $4? And the lady was like, ma'am, I don't know. But you want it or not. She was so rude. Whatever. So that's that. The very last thing. I think this is it. Yeah. So last thing for home. I got custom pillows. So originally I bought them for my couch. But these are actually really small. They're still choppable. Kinda, kind of choppable, not really, but I mean, you can do, do, and do a little, yeah, they choppable, period. But they are small, I don't, forgive me for not knowing the dimension, I want to say 12 by 12. I want to say 12 by 12, but I'm not 100% sure. But, honey, so it's like, it's given a fake Hermes, but not really, um, vibe, again, they were custom made. I'm not even going to get into a story on how I found these and how I came across them. But just know God works in mysterious ways. And I found me a custom pillow plug. So I love these. I got two of them. So right now they're actually on my bed. Because like I said, they are sm they're kind of too small for the couch. And I don't really have any pillows for my couch yet. So I'm being nosy. So they look kind of weird by themselves. But on the bed with the rest of my pillows, they fit perfectly. So I got two of these yeah and that's it i don't want to make this video too long but i have christmas stuff too